All right. Good Monday morning from the National Weather Service here in Raleigh, North Carolina. My name is James Marr. I'm a meteorologist here with your weekly impact weather briefing that covers the central part of the state um, from today, Monday, August 19th through the 25th. As always, if you're tuning in after the fact, uh, after August 19th, uh, I highly recommend you go into weather.gov forward slash Raleigh for the latest weather information. We know weather often changes on a daily basis, so um, certainly get the latest forecast information from weather.gov forward slash Raleigh. So let's go ahead uh, to our current uh, our weather briefing here. So taking a look at the uh, overview of this week's weather pattern, we have high pressure in control. We are in a very moist and warm air mass. So we're going to have some daily thunderstorm chances persisting through much of the week, even with high pressure overhead. Um, but that should remain in control over the weekend ahead of a cold front or through the week ahead of a cold front that should approach the region late week, sliding southeast off the coast uh, early over the weekend here. Uh, heat and humidity will be the primary threat through Wednesday with shower and storm coverage and intensity possibly increasing uh, drastically as the week comes to a, a, a close into early this weekend as that cold front sinks to the south and east, likely to pass through and maybe settle just south and east of the area, allowing some drier and cooler air to settle in. Uh, over the weekend. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. But the primary threat, at least going forward, is going to be the heat indices, both Tuesday and Wednesday, with those along and east of Interstate 95, including the Sand Hills and the Coastal Plain, likely surpassing 100 degrees elsewhere, seeing anywhere from the mid to upper 90s, thanks to uh, high temperatures in the low to mid 90s and a very rich uh, moisture at the low levels, causing these heat index to, to approach or surpass 100 degrees. A little bit better on Tuesday, we'll have a little bit more mixing in play. And as we progress through the week, uh, there'll be a lot more cloud cover, rain showers, and thunderstorms there around the area, uh, which should limit any uh, heat in heat issues as we go forward. Taking a look at the Storm Prediction Center's outlooks across our area, the next three days should remain quiet. Everybody has a thunderstorm chance across the area, but the severe threat should remain limited with uh, not much in the way of upper level support. Still can't rule out a damaging wind gust from a downburst or even some small hail with some of the stronger storms that form, but for the most part, not looking at a widespread severe weather setup. Uh, taking a look at the precipitation, uh, these are obviously aerial averages, and in a summertime thunderstorm type environment, you're gonna have areas that see no rain on any given day but also see areas that see multiple inches of rain, especially with some slow moving thunderstorms or any areas that see repeat thunderstorms. Um, and that could cause some issues as we go across. So looking at today, we have anywhere from a quarter to a half inch possible across areas, same on Tuesday, but becoming a little bit more, um, you know, those inch to two inch amounts as we go into Thursday and Friday and heading into the weekend and taking a closer look at our seven day total, uh, looks like the best chance of seeing some uh, uh, higher values is going to be across the sand hills and eastern coastal plain, which could see three to four inches aerial average. Obviously, some areas are going to see more, some are going to see less. It really depends on uh, where these storms form and which areas get impacted over the next seven days. Uh, taking a look at the extended forecast, it uh, looks like temperatures should remain near or slightly above normal as we progress in the eight to 14 day period. With those precipitation chances, there's at least a, a, a slight a 30 to 40 percent probability that we'll see above average uh, precipitation. So we're going to stay in that warm and wet pattern, at least as we go through the end of the month into early September as we progress into meteorological fall. Uh, taking a look at the tropical weather outlook, we do have a very a low end disturbance that passed kind of to our east yesterday and it's going to continue safely out to sea. Um, very low chance of any tropical development, especially up in the cooler waters off the coast of uh, New England. And really nothing in the, uh, in the future here. They did up the chances of an above normal year, but at least over the next seven to 10 days, we're not looking at a ton of activity, but we are just getting into the peak of hurricane season. So I expect that to change, especially in the next week to two weeks with multiple systems gonna start coming off of the African coast and we'll be keeping a close eye on any potential development areas as we go forward. For more information, feel free to go to weather.gov forward slash raw forward slash tropical for the latest hurricane information. 
Taking a look at the drought monitor, we still have some moderate drought across portions of the southern coastal plains and the eastern sand hills. Luckily, that bullseye precipitation is right over this area, uh, which should help matters as we go forward. For more information there, feel free to visit the U.S. Drought Monitor. So a quick summary for the week, heat and humidity will be the primary hazards as we begin the period, uh, as those heat index values will near or surpass 100 degrees, especially south and east of the Triangle region. Storm chances increase rapidly as the week goes on and a cold front approaches the area, uh, but that front should sink to our south, allowing some drier uh, air to infiltrate uh, across central North Carolina as we get into the weekend. Uh, the tropics are remaining quiet and moderate drought conditions persist across the eastern sand hills in the southern coastal plain. And a quick look at the seven day, thunderstorms are gonna be pretty common with maybe a lessening chance as we progress into Sunday and Monday as that front sinks to the south and east. And obviously temperatures will be on a downtrend, uh, mainly because of cloud cover and uh, uh, more humidity on the surface. But certainly by the weekend with that front in play, we could see uh, some below or at or below seasonable values um, as we progress through the weekend. Uh, at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording and uh, be happy to answer any